Hello and welcome to Thomas's Tower Page with myself, Thomas Janak. My guest this month is Kelsey Chain. Hello. Welcome. And I'm leaving a link to the um, to her Facebook page in the description box. We're gonna be very old today, very slow, because we're recording this in mid-July. Apparently it's the warmest day of the year and I'm fucking roasting. <laughs> <laughs> right? So you can notice us, we're not super energetic, doesn't mean we're not excited. Okay, so we're in the sign of Scorpio and Scorpios, please remember, it is one of your imprints to have a massive fight or flight response to things. And before we even look into anything, what I'm getting is, is for you to be aware of that trait that you have, right? And my feeling is that this will be a month where we likely will see if it is reflected in the, in the reading, um, where you have to sort of stand your ground without being too forceful. That's sort of the energy that I'm getting. We're not even talking about the over energy, um, but this will come up now because what we will do here, we will divide, divide the video into areas, into sections, so to speak, so it is easier to understand. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead before we will then look at your emotional core, which is about love and, you know, trauma that can go, that kind of stuff. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities as to present themselves to you. And for the most part, opportunities are about um, what sustains you financially. And if you say like, what the heck are you talking about? And what, are you, what the heck are you saying? I have a denture and I'm relearning to speak and I can hear a lisp, it's really bad. And um, no offense to Spanish people, but I always find the Spanish have a list and it talks to me like, hasta mañana, you know, so that's how I hear them. And now I have very Spanish energy at this point in time, but my, but my energy comes from the denture, right? So anyway, let's have a look at the overall energy for the months of August 2022 for the sign of Scorpio. Okie dokie. Um, so the overall energy that we've got for you, Leo, is um, you need to take care of yourself that little bit more during this month. Um, your vital force, so your energy levels um, may be being drained by other people. So it's just telling you proceed with precaution, um, you know, look after your own energies. Uh, ground yourself if you need to but make sure that you try and keep yourself in a positive space because I feel as though negativity is going to present itself quite a lot during this month. Okay thank you very much and it actually really leads on to your emotional core even though the emotional core feels a bit more uplifting if that makes sense because what the guides are saying you know your, 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 your energy when it comes to manifesting new beginnings that's what I'm getting so this is not about at this point in time, at least, what I'm, what I'm not getting is for you to having to have massive problems this month with, with letting go and tons of healing. It doesn't mean it's not needed, but it's not shown here, yeah. right? And so when the guides are saying is that the energy is gaining momentum, that to me feels more about if you are someone who says, um, I think part of me is ready for a new relationship. I think a part of me is blah, blah, blah. Um, then what do you, what you, what you now have to say is like, yeah. I don't think a part of me is ready, I'm bloody ready. It is sometimes about convincing yourself, even though you may not feel super convinced, if that makes sense, but because the energy is gaining momentum, invite it in. Say, yeah, I'm here, come on then, because you still have free will. If the universe sends you three different people and they all want to be with you, right, you will know in the end who is or isn't for you, right? rather than sending them all away and saying, no, it's too much. Right? So, so that's what I'm getting is that what I'm getting with Scorpio, which is again, your fight or flight energy. Even if, if you have a, a, a preferred way of being approached, that could change tomorrow. <laughs> which, so there is, sounds a bit wrong, maybe not, I don't know, it's just the way my guts talk. There is no proper consistency with you either. And it's a good thing because when you're a bit more open, the universe can send you all sorts of energies and then you choose what fits. But the good thing is, whatever it is you are allowing to happen when it comes to inviting in new beginnings, so that to me um, is sort of uh, letting go of old stuff and therefore, you know, being a bit more free. And also, you know, um, go on these free uh, dating pages, right? You will be inundated because the, the, the energy is getting momentum. The point is, let it start it all, right? It takes one button to say like, block, right? If it really is bad, but not doing anything 
which is sort of the energy that we sort of have in, um, as well. It's August. It's one of those months by default that is, no, is, is neither here nor there. That is there then, because we're, we're the months before September. September is the number nine. Nine is the number of completion. And eight as a number can be the number of um, stumbling blocks. Now, the interesting thing is when you look at your life from a different angle, the eight, which is the, the, the eighth month, and also the, the eighth house that, that you have, when you look at your, at your life a little bit sideways, the eight topples over and becomes the infinity sign. So if you allow for things to come in, you might actually see that they're much easier than you thought they would be. So let go of old, um, it's not like pretense, but it's like, you know, not everything that happened to you will repeat itself because you're clear, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. So therefore it can't, it can't repeat itself. It's sort of that simple. It's not difficult here. It just feels like that, that you're sort of swaying between yeah and ooh, right? It's like, it's, it's, it feels like um, it depends on the day when people meet you. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense and all the guides are saying as well you know present yourself the way you would like to be met okay that's all this one has got for you and now we're looking at um the opportunities as they present themselves in the month of august 2022 for the sign of scorpio right <laughs> okay um so scorpio um the the purple card has shown itself for you um it's asking you to tap into your intuition that little bit more and that is where you know the the finances may improve um and relationships i feel like just tapping into your intuition itself uh this month is what's going to do you well okay thank you so much please like subscribe and share and please come back next month because nothing worse than talking to nobody. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, see you soon. Bye-bye.